Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with yet another very exciting update. I love filming my pretty pan update, which this is, um, and I'm excited to share with you the progress. I have some really good progress on a lot of products. If you're new to this project, I am working on 10 items at any point in time, and my goal in this project specifically is to finish everything up. So this is not a project where I um, can I roll in things for usage goals or hitting pan. In my product pan, my goal is always to finish things up. So that's what I'm doing with these 10 products. And as soon as I finish something up, I do replace it with something else. It is a rolling product pan and yeah, I used to love this product very much. I'm gonna jump into the first product, but before I do so, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So we're going to start off with the process that has been in the longest and these first couple products, I think the first three products have been in since the beginning of the year. So we're going to start off with this eyeshadow right here. Also all of them are eyeshadows, the ones that has been in since the beginning of the year, just because they'll take a long time to finish. But we're going to start off with my Glam Shop eyeshadow in Turk Mioka, which looked like this at the beginning of the year. Uh, I already had pan on it, um, I've been slowly expanding the pan and kind of using it up. It is a really really beautiful iridescent shade. It's very kind of wet looking and sparkly. The sparkle is quite fine to it. And I use this one a lot as an icona highlight for all of my lid. And it's a beautiful, like I said, iridescent and it goes from like a icy blue to more of a violet to a UV kind of shade into like a pink at a very harsh angle. It is a beautiful kind of shifty cool tone shade and I just find this one very very versatile. This is what this one looked like at last update and um, since that point I actually decided to repress this shadow. So I went ahead and I repressed this one to again do some of the other things in this project and this is what it looked like at that point. And since then I have used this one eight times and this is where I am with this one today. So as you can see I have re-hit pan in it and it is also very very thin now so even though the pan isn't very big at the moment I reckon that this one's going to be done quite soon just because it's easy to expand the pan quickly. So yes, I'm really really happy that I was able to re-hit pan in this uh, eyeshadow and hopefully you can see there just how thin this is. It is also quite crumbly because I have repressed it so sometimes I feel like you know a chunk kind of falls out but I've done my best to try to press it back in and um, yeah I used this one like I said eight times. I have used it five times for my nails and that is actually what I'm wearing my nails today. I've had it on for a couple of days now but I'm wearing this like kind of warm hot pink with this iridescent on top and I really love how it turned out. I absolutely love my nails right now. So yeah, that is eight of the uses but the remaining three I have used on my eyes. It's not my best month for this shade but I've been very overwhelmed with eyeshadows in the past month and like what I'm using and I haven't been doing a very intricate looks. Like even today the look that I'm wearing is for my Big Fat Eyeshadow project but um. I think I'm only wearing like three shades on my eyes, which is, you know, quite a little amount considering back in the day I always used to wear like around eight, nine. Anyway, I'm really happy with where this one stands today. I'm going to keep working on it and hopefully have it out in the next month, maybe like two months or so. It would be nice to have this one out before quarter, end of quarter three, but we'll see. I know for sure that I'm going to finish this one this year and I do love this eyeshadow, so I don't want to rush it. And also I feel like this one would be beautiful when winter comes. So we'll see. Maybe I decide to like just work it on it slowly, but this one is 100% going to be done before the end of the year. The next one, like I said, is also an eyeshadow and this one is one of my Colourpop Super Shock shadows. This is in the shade Amaze, which looks like this. It's a beautiful, can use neutral type of shadow. Um, I've been really, really trying to focus on this one this year. I'm trying to get out all my Super Shock shadows. I have decluttered quite a few of them. Um, I have this one and one more left, but the other one is a very, very bright, kind of hot pink fuchsia color. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to pan that one completely, but I just like having it in my collection. But similar to the Glam Shop shadow, this one already had pan on it at the beginning of the year too. And um, yeah, it's been one that I've been working on on and off. Some months I haven't used it at all, other months I use it like 10, 11 times. So it's been, you know, very, very different depending on what month it is. I've been very kind of up and down with this shadow. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to eventually get it out. So again, this is what looked like at the last update. You can see that it had quite an expanded pan. So this is another product that I decided to repress just to make it easier to use. And this is what it looked like after repressing. Uh, so yeah, very even in there, very thin again, but that is what it looked like. And since then I've also used this one eight times and this is what it looks like right now. So you can see that the pan has expanded quite a lot and the product is gathering again around the edges. But I feel like that always happens with these Super Shock shadows just because it's so malleable um, that it just kind of moves whenever you put your finger in there. But overall I'm really, really happy with how this pan has expanded. 
so yes this is what it looked like you can see that it's very kind of thin and like they're just you can see they're very very scraped around there's one area up here where it's a little bit more product but down here is very kind of thin right now and um, i have used this one eight times like i said and all those eight times have been on my eyes i have not used this one on my nails at all this past month which i'm fine with and i'm really really happy with the shadow and how i've been able to use it when i was in sweden and um, i went to see my family in sweden earlier in august and this was like my go-to lid shade i used used masks from my panda palette like a couple mattes simple and then I shuck this one all over my lid and I really like that for like an everyday look. It's actually a really beautiful shade. It's just a shame that sometimes I, I feel like I need to do more intricate looks and like like layer this one with something else just to get used out of other things. Because on its own it's really really sparkly beautiful eyeshadow and the tone of it is absolutely stunning. And it works perfectly with my... Uh, panda palette but anyway this one is of course staying in i did mention last time that i was gonna try to maybe finish this one but it's taking longer than expected i mean eight uses in a month isn't like the best ever but i knew that i wouldn't be able to finish it but i'm gonna keep that goal up and hopefully have this out maybe in the next month i'm gonna really push through this one and i feel like it's more likely that i'm gonna have this one out early than the glam shop shade just because i feel like i'm ready to pan this one whereas the glam shop shade i don't mind having it for a longer time but again, for now, this one is staying in the project. Then last five shadows for now, we have my Burberry eyeshadow right here in the shade Rosewood, which I'm using for my brows, wearing it today as well. Uh, so this one looked like this at the beginning of the year. It also had pan on it. It was a very small pan, uh, but it was there nonetheless. And this is a really beautiful shade. It's uh, perfect for my brows because it's very kind of ashy toned shadow. Uh, it's like a taupey, but it has a little bit of like a sandy undertone so it works perfectly for my blonde hair and even my dark blonde hair which I'm growing up now but it's just such a beautiful shade and even though this is a satiny eyeshadow it doesn't look like too shimmer or anything in the brow it suits me really nicely so I'm happy that I started working on this one in my brows it's been a joy to use and this is a massive eyeshadow, it has 2.5 grams, so it's obviously taken quite a long time to use so far. And I know that I'm in like the 200 uses on this one, I haven't added up exactly how much I used this one. But I know I'm like 200 and something like uses in this, I think maybe like even 230 uses-ish. So it's, it's a very large shadow. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looked like at the last update, and I still had quite a lot of products, so I didn't want to repress this one. Because also I like seeing the pan expanding. So since the eyebrow brush is so skinny, I don't think I'm going to repress this one to be fair at all before the end of the year or before this one is finished. Just because, again, I like seeing the pan expanded. But since that point, I have used this one 27 times. And this is what this eyeshadow looks like today. It is um, really big now. I hope the pan has continued to expand. I don't really know until I look back at the footage. But yeah, I'm working on it. I feel like I definitely thinned out the area around the pan because it was quite high before. Um, because obviously the closer we're getting to the edges the higher the product is because there's not as much of a dip near the pan but yeah i'm super happy with this one it is an easy product like i said to use every single day so yeah that is this product again um i don't know how much the pan expanded because i haven't looked back at the footage like i said but um yeah really happy with this one stands you can tell like it's moving along it is a little bit alarming though because we only have four months left of the year and i thought that i would be able to finish this product but looking at it it might be a push. I might have to use this one on my eyes too if I want to finish it completely. Or I'm just going to roll into like next year. We'll see. But I'm going to keep using it. And maybe in two months time I'm going to like reassess to see how far it's gotten. And if I'm like semi close to finishing it but like not quite. I might start using it a handful of times here and there on my eyes just to get some use out of it. Because I know I'm going to use it way quicker on my eyes because I use such a tiny amount in my brows. But yeah, I'm really happy with this product. It is of course going to stay in and... I don't have to think of this product, it's one that I, again, can use every time I do my makeup. There's been a couple of times this month when I'm doing really light makeup looks and I haven't been reaching for this one. I've just been reaching for my coloured brow gel, which is why the uses are, like, slightly less than normal, because I think every single month, I don't know, actually, there's been one with 29 uses, but most of the months, I'm over 30 uses with this product, and, like, last month, I had 36 uses. So this is the lowest usage month for this one so far this year, but I think again it's not because I haven't been wanting to reach for this one. It's just because I've been doing lighter looks or have, I've been having more non-makeup days as well. So it is what it is, but again I'm happy that this one is in the project just because it's an easy product to use and I love ex like tracking the expansion of the pan because it's just so fun to see in this specific eyeshadow, at least in my opinion. So the rest of the products I'm going to talk about has been in for less than like the whole year. Um, and I always go for like the ones that have been in the longest to the newest ones. 
Um, so the product has been in next has been in for six months, uh, which is my Fit Me powder from Maybelline. This is one that I mentioned last month as well that I wanted to try to finish this month because um, I didn't have too much product in here, but I knew that it was going to be a stretch to finish. So with this specific product, I have been doing a really, really good effort with it, um, and I feel like I'm really happy with my progress. I have used this one 30 times, and unfortunately, it's not quite done. Um, you can see on the side right here, it's not settled right now, but that line right there was where I was last month. And you can see that I'm using consistently, kind of, you know, this amount of powder every month. And I feel like I'm really happy with the progress. I feel like it's on track. Um, and you can see I have a tiny, tiny bit of powder left. I'm gonna see if I can try to get it down. Um, maybe right there you can see a bit that it's settling right there. So it is a really, really tiny amount. Um, and I know for a fact that this is gonna be done next month. Again, I wasn't unfortunately able to get there this month, uh, but honestly, I'm not too unhappy about it. It's of course always fun to roll in new products into a project, and that's kind of why I wanted to have it out this specific month. But um, I do really love this powder, and I've been doing way less like heavy makeup bases. I've been doing basically concealer and then this powder. Uh, so I'm actually gonna miss it when it's gone because it provides like a little bit more coverage and it mattifies like my cheeks and stuff before I put my powder products on so I really really do like this powder and I'm gonna be sad when it's gone uh, but for now it's gonna stay in I'm gonna have one last month with it because again this is 100% gonna be done next month um, I'm really really happy I'm hoping out of the products I mentioned so far at least two of them are gonna be done this next month um, and that's gonna be this one and the MS eyeshadow so I'm hoping the next month is gonna be a really really good one I'm continuing with some good progress the next product that I have to talk about comes from my sleek solstice palette which looks very grubby now because it's in my everyday makeup drawer and it gets used every single day but the shade that I'm working on in here is the fourth shade which is called Equinox and this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year um, or oh, actually not the beginning of the year this one has only been in for four months but this is what it looked like at that point it, again I already had pan on it it had quite a bit of use nothing like too extreme though and as you know I'm trying to finish up this whole palette I've already finished up one shade in here and then the cream shade was finished quite a few years ago uh, but this product um, I've been really enjoying it's a beautiful kind of shadow it's very very kind of shiny a beautiful highlighter honestly but it's, it's very intense you don't need too much with it whenever you use it however I have had really consistent use I've had really high usage on it every single month and this is what it looked like at the last update and um, again this is another product that I decided to frank and I believe this is the last product from this project that I decided to to, not Franken sorry to repress and this would look like after repressing so it was quite a lot of product it ended up being more product in here than I thought because I was hoping to finish this highlighter this past month and I have been really trying my very best because I have used this one 37 times in the past month and this is what it looks like today so it's not quite done but you can see that I'm slowly finishing up like that base layer from the left side in um, and it's quite thin for the most part. It's a little bit in one corner that is quite a lot of product, but overall it's very thin. And I don't think it's going to take too long to finish this product up. And um, it definitely will probably take another 15 uses or so. That's going to be my, my guess. So it's going to be a lot of effort in the next month. But again, this is a product that I'm 100% sure is going to be done in the next update. So yeah, very happy with where this one stands today. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish it and I'm quite sad about that because I was really pushing it and I was trying to use this product quite a lot um, and again 37 uses is amazing and the reason why I have it so high even though I said like I had more no makeup days in the past month is because I've been using this one both on my cheeks and as an in corner highlight and whenever I use it in two different ways or like two different areas of my face so cheeks and eyes are different for me and lips are obviously different as well um, I count that as two uses but if I used to like let's say if I apply highlighter and then I apply it down my nose there's still one because it's all kind of highlighter on my face and um, same if I apply highlighter and then put a blush over it and I put a little bit more highlighter on that's still on the UN use but whenever I use it in two different areas of my face I just count it as two uses not sure I've always done that and I feel like I'm just gonna stick with it because it makes sense to me so even though I've had like I said some no makeup days this one's definitely one that I'm trying to reach for as much as I can and um, in multiple ways so it is, like I said, going to stay in for one more month, but I am again sure that I'm going to have this as an empty next month. So hopefully so far we're going to have three out of four, sorry, no, three out of five empties. Two actual staying in for, for sure, but um, yeah, hopefully that's going to happen. We'll see about the MA's eyeshadows, but with this one and the Fit Me powder, I know 
for festivals so those are going to be empties for next month all right so we're sticking with highlighters and the next one i have to talk about comes from benefit this is a really really old product if you saw my my oldest makeup in my collection whatever i named that video uh, this one was in it and this is actually one of my oldest products so i'm really really happy to have worked on this one in this project this one has now been in for four months um and it is by the way if i haven't said it's a cream highlighter stick and uh, which i have been loving using during summer it's been beautiful and i am actually wearing this one today so i have gotten a use out of it but i'm actually happy to say that this one is done at least in my standards so you can see it's completely flush with the packaging but actually it's even lower down and that is completely like screwed up now if I can, I can even like put it down but this is what it goes to the very top you can see right there and I have been like sticking my finger in and scraping some out because I really do like this highlight and stick and even though it is quite old it really performs well still so uh, yeah this one I have been using really consistently and I'm calling it after this update uh, just because I have been able to like dig my finger in but I don't normally do that with products so I'm going to count this one done for the sake of this project. Maybe I will continue doing it until I can't reach anymore. Uh, but for this project, because it is kind of done in my standards, I'm, I'm going to roll it out. And in the past month, I've been reaching for this one 25 additional times. So I'm really, really happy with that. And just for reference, in those four months, uh, this one took me 79 uses to finish. I'm going to go ahead and show you the progress lines because I did actually work on this one last year as well. So it had a lot of use since last year. And that is all I had left, so you can see right there is where I was, and that's how I've been using it up. So that line right there is where I was last month, and it is now finished. All right, so let's move on to the next product, and this one has been for three months. We're getting to the relatively recent roll-ins, and that is my Pat McGrath Under Eye uh, Setting Powder, which I'm keeping in my old Sila Convertible Color Compact. And by the way, I have this one in the shade Medium. So this is what it looked like uh, when I first rolled it in. I had just repressed it in here. I don't think I had pan on it at that point, but it was re freshly repressed in here um, because I actually lost the original compact and it's more of a don't break product anyway. So I needed somewhere to repress it because I kind of broke off a little bit of the dome. And I have been consistently using this one. Um, not too much, it's mainly like a touch-up powder. So I have, you know, I have like a little use here and there, nine uses in the first month, six uses in the last month. And this is what this one looks like today. And I have actually used this one 10 additional times in the past month, so it's my strongest month so far. And I think again, that's because I've been in Sweden, I've been like seeing more people, doing things like that, and going out for like the full day. I went to a wedding, I um, went out like during the day with my parents, with my friends, stuff like that. So I did have more occasion to need a touch of powder rather than like when I'm in London and I'm working from home because then I only really do the weekends where I see people so yeah more chances to kind of use products um but yeah I'm happy with where this product stands today and I'm quite gentle with it because the lid has actually broken off this packaging so I don't want to break it or make it fall off and you know drop the powder or whatever uh, but I'm actually going back to the office starting this week so I'm filming this one on the Monday on the days going up and from Wednesday I'm going to start going back to the office twice a week so I know that I'm going to start using this one more because it's a great touch-up powder so maybe I can even have this one done next month. We'll see. I'm not going to rush it. Um, I'm just going to let it go organically. But maybe next month. Otherwise, I'm sure this one's going to be done in two months' time. All right. So we have three more products to go. And the next product has been in for two months. And that is another highlighter. And uh, this is the last highlighter in the project. And this one comes from Pi. This is the, the Impossible Glow Highlighting Drops, which I have really been enjoying mainly as like a chest highlighter like i put it on my collarbones and stuff like that and it's and like shoulders and whatnot and it's really really beautiful that way so that's mainly how i'll be using it whenever i have kind of you know more summery dresses on i guess um and this one i don't use too much because again i mainly use it in that capacity so yeah i'm not getting like a really high consistent use on it but um in the past month i reached for this one three times so not the best and this is where it is today so you can see that's the first month and this is the second month and it's pretty consistent. The first month I reached for this one four times and then three uses this past month so it makes sense. Um, I'm really torn with this product because like I said before in the introduction of this video, I do have everything in this project to finish normally. I don't really have anything for usage goals, stuff like that, but I am thinking with this one because I have actually fallen in love with this one as I get like a highlight that way. And it makes my skin look so glowy and healthy and it's beautiful. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to push finishing this one up now this year. I might want to save this one for next summer. 
I'm gonna keep it in one more month because we do still have some nice warm days um, and maybe get some more use out of it but let me know in the comments do you think it would be better for me to roll this one out and save for next year I know this one is on my 50 products I want to pan this year list and it's obviously also in this project so let me know what your feelings are about rolling this one out early or if you think I'm going to stick with it and finish it up. It's not like I'm going to hate pan it and I'm still going to get use out of it but I feel like I will enjoy it more next summer than I will this autumn winter and that's why I'm suggesting that. So let me know what you think. I'm like, you know, I'm happy either way because of course I do want to have this out and if I did finish it this year I would have another highlighter out of my collection which would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, just let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm very, very torn right now and I feel like I need another month to decide anyway. So this one is going to stay in for now. So we've come to the final two products which were both wrote in last month. So yeah, relatively new into this project. Uh, but we have very split kind of progress on these two. One is definitely a success and the other one is more of a fail. But we're going to start with the success story first. Um, and that is my... Uh, Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer and this one is in the shade stay on here uh, in the shade Light Beige so I rolled this one in last month and I knew that this one was quite low when I rolled it in but I'm happy to say that I have been able to finish this uh, concealer up I don't know if you can see in there but I've taken off the stopper the one that you might be able to see is very very dry now Um, yeah it's completely finished i have been scraping this one i tried to apply it today for the last time and it took a lot of effort and actually i had to put a different concealer under my eyes because it was just not enough i put it on my chin around my nose and that's it so i'm going to call this one down i'm really really happy with that and um, i used this one 20 times in the past month so quite a lot it was like a go-to concealer for me to put like on my face and like i said i haven't really been using foundation recently i used to use like a concealer like this and then i put that fit me powder over it um, and I used to like put the concealer again around my chin and my nose and then under my eyes and that's about it And I really have been enjoying it. I think also using it in like more than just under my eyes It means that this one went quicker as well So I'm really happy to have this one out and it's gonna of course roll out and I'm gonna replace this at the same time as the what's up highlighter Then the last product that I have to talk about um, is an eyeshadow and that one again rolled in last month And that one comes from my Huda Beauty Gold Obsession and it's the shade number six in here and I'm not even gonna roll the footage of this one looks like last month because I have not used this one at all I completely forgot about it. I'm gonna be honest I put this one in my drawer and I completely forgot about this product and that I had it in a project So unfortunately, you know you should see it But I'm gonna put this one in my like in front of my mind and just uh, make sure to use it next month because it's a really really stunning shade and Ideally I would want to finish that specific shade up this year because I think you can do it and it would be another I should empty so now when I have reminded myself that this is in the project, I'm definitely going to try to reach for it um, in the next month. Alright, so we are rolling in two things because I finished up the concealer and the What's Up highlighter. Um, so both those are going to be replaced. And if I didn't have enough highlighter still in this project, to replace the highlighter, I'm going to roll in another highlighter. But that one actually also comes from the Sleek Solstice palette because as you know, I'm trying to finish this one up this year. And I do have one shade left in here that has not been used so far. And that is the second shade called hemisphere which is right there it is relatively full um and with this one it's not like my favorite type of shade because it's very cool toned and it's also very light so what i'm going to do i mentioned this one in my panda palette update but i'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this highlighter however much i need to get the right tone plus the shade glistening from my panda palette which is the soft glam palette i'm going to franken those two together and make like a hopefully a little bit dark and slightly less bright um highlighter and i'm going to put that in one of these two empty pans it's probably not going to be the whole thing but i want to start using this one and that's how i'm going to use it to start maybe in winter i'm going to be able to use it one more straight but we'll see how far i get with this one next month of course my main focus is still to finish this highlighter up but i wanted to roll this one in now because then don't think it's going to take me the full month and as soon as that's done i can move on to the next one in here so that is going to be the first product that i'm rolling in and by the way i will be filming that franklin video so don't worry i'm going to film it all so you can see it and that's going to be up later this month then to replace that concealer we are rolling in another cheap product and this one might be a mistake rolling in but i'm excited to start working on this one and since i'm very very close to finishing this type of product in my 
palette face palette i'm gonna go ahead and roll this one in now and that's gonna be a blush this is the max factor cream puff blush in the shade gorgeous berries which is a beautiful plummy couple shade you can see it right there um i have finished up one of these earlier this year in the shade lovely pink and this is the second one that i want to finish these ones don't have too much product but this is quite a dark blush so we'll see how long this one takes to finish up and um, i'm excited to work on it now though because it is definitely a more autumnal blush so i think it's going to be perfect for the season so those were all of the products i'm currently working on just quickly i want to mention what i'm hoping to finish next month because i think i'm gonna have quite a few empties we have the colourpop shadow in amaze i think that one i'm gonna really try to push to have done and i don't have too much product left in here so that is the first one and um, we also have my fit me powder i think it's going to be an easy empty so this one is definitely going to be out same with the sleek solstice palette the bottom shade which i've been working on that is definitely also going to be out so that is hopefully three empties and then we have my stila compact we'll see how it goes with this um like kind of powder but i'm i'm gonna maybe finish it we'll see i'm not gonna push it but if this one is done it is done so maybe four empties we'll see how it goes and then the last product that I'm close on, but I don't think I'm going to be able to finish, is this shadow right here. This is the Glam Top shade. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I don't think it's going to be done. But I might have some really good progress on it in the next month. We'll see again how it goes. But I'm going to wrap up the video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, I love posting these videos. And I feel like now, the further into the year we get, the more progress we get on the products. And I feel like I have more products rolling out every single month. So I think it's going to be, you know, this month I had two empties. I think I'm going to have uh, hopefully at least three next month. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up here. I uh, hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.